Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogun Mohammed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to his Thai counterpart General Prayut Kachanka on his successful operation to rescue 12 boys and their football coach from a flooded cave this week. His Royal Highness the Premier extended his deepest congratulations to the friendly Thai people and the families of the boys on the happy occasion. He commended the tremendous efforts exerted by the Thai government under the leadership of General Praya Chankoka to ensure the success of the general operation. His Royal Highness stated that through the rescue operation, the Thai government has set the example in strength and outstanding ability to overcome challenges, earning the respect and acclaim of people all over the world. Horst Simum of His Highness, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, won first place in the Knights Nursery Handicap Horse Race, which was held in the United Kingdom. The jockey of the horse, Luke Morris, was able to finish the race in a minute and 14 seconds, beating the horses Nay Slayer and James Watts, who came in second and third, respectively. His Highness Sheikh Nasr noted that this win adds to the achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain at the international level as it reflects the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to all kinds of sports. His Highness hailed the high level demonstrated by the horse with the help of jockey Luke Morris and commended the efforts of its trainer George Beckham. His Highness Sheikh Nasr stated that the race is one of the top races held internationally and praised the efforts exerted by the technical staff before and during the race. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in the International Training Conference of the Drug Abuse Resistance Education Organization, DARE, in its 31st session. Sheikh Abdullah delivered a speech in which he affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to combat drug use and raise its awareness among the youth. He noted that the community partnership of the Kingdom, based on the reform approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, helped in combating drug use. He also highlighted the efforts of the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, in protecting the youth of Bahrain from this phenomenon. The Ministry of Information Affairs has announced full support of the Saudi media ministry statement that confirms a categorical rejection of Qatar's irresponsible and false allegations of the signal piracy made by the so called Be Out Q, which linked up the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with Be Out Q. The ministry reiterated Bahrain's rejection of signal piracy or illegal broadcasting, which is in violation of laws and regulations of states, and commended the Saudi steps to combat piracy and protect intellectual property rights. The ministry also denounced the accusation leveled at the Riyadh-based Arab Saud without evidence, affirming that Arab Saud is not subject to the Saudi government administration and that it is a semi-governmental body owned by the Arab League. The ministry also rejected the allegation of political intention connected to the anti-terror Arab Quartet Qatar dispute. It asserted its understanding of the reasons behind the Saudi ban on BN Sport, a subsidiary of Al Jazeera Media Network, due to the involvement of the Qatari channels in supporting terrorism and extremism, as well as promoting the discourse of hatred and extremism in the region. The ministry expressed condemnation of the propaganda campaign against Saudi Arabia and the deviation of BN Sport from its discourse during the broadcasting of the 2018 World Cup Finals, with the aim of defaming the reputation of Saudi Arabia and other Arab countries. The ministry called for a review of the legal status of BN Sport channels in all countries in light of the latest developments that included the repeated involvement of Qatari sports channels in politics during the 2018 World Cup Finals and stressed its backing of the Saudi measures taken in this regard. Meanwhile, Egypt's Supreme Council for Media Regulation and the UAE's National Media Council issued separate statements reaffirming and supporting Saudi Arabia's rejection of any piracy or illegal broadcasting of channels that contradict the law and regulations of any country. The media bodies also praised the effective and successive steps taken by Saudi Arabia to combat piracy and protect copyrights. The organizations also denounced Qatar's relentless attempts to involve Saudi Arabia in the Be Out Q case, stressing that their stance is purely political and a response to the boycott of Doha by the four countries. They also expressed its understanding of why Saudi Arabia blocked BN Sports channels from broadcasting in the kingdom, as it is directly linked to the Al Jazeera network, which promotes terrorism. They added that BN Sports continues to involve politics in sports through its commentating.